Happy Homebrew Wednesday, everybody. This is New England 72. Uh, right here, I've got a partial mash going on. It's a mostly extract brew. Actually, I'll show you over here. Uh, unfortunately, I figured that out right after I got my, my mash done all, all ready. And you can see, you know, the usual stuff, false bottom. I just bought it. Just because I started adding up how much everything would be, and it was all, together it was all uh, pretty much a wash, whether I, I uh, made it myself or bought the whole thing together. Anyway, uh, this is my my uh, Bayou burner. This is the big boy, the 185,000 BTU one, whatever. The one step up. Anyhow, uh, this is this water was like 140. It took a little gamble. I'm not sure I put it in that hot before, but these have been in there for a while. Now that I'm mentioning it, I should probably stir this partial mash. Temp is right about where it should be, still hanging out at about a buck sixty, a buck fifty. And this is this is how I stir my mash. Here we go. When when I'm just partial mashing or brewing in a bag, this is really all I think you have to do is kind of pick the bag up and move it around, and then just let it sit over here. Make sure if you're going to turn that burner on, you do something about the little tail that's hanging out so you don't let it on fire. And put the top on it to make sure nothing sticks. Uh, the real thing I wanted to show everybody was uh, that I have finally got some labels made, and I finally have a decent name for my uh, uh, my brew, my home brewery here. I'm going to call it. It's or it's called Elastic Limit. And so far, I've bottled uh, a saison IPA, which is great. Munich uh, two row flaked rice, Citra Falconer's Flight Summit Zythos, 12 ounces total. And um, the Belgian Saison 2 yeast, it worked great. That still could use a little time to hang out, but I think it's a great beer. This is like a, just a pale ale. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to always put style on my labels. It's something I'll just figure out, like the Saison IPA. That's kind of a tough one to... I figured it was a good idea to put something on there to give people some idea what that's going to taste like. All American hops. Um, Similar similar thing here with the hops, still Citra, Falconer's Flight, Sriracha Ace, uh, used Australian Ale Yeast. I, I kind of like that one, we'll see. Um, uh, I think I might like uh, WLP007, that's the Dry English Ale Yeast. I think I let, might like that one a little more. Might allow me to use more base malt and get more malty flavor in the uh, in the end beer, so I wouldn't have to use as much crystal. Why Why do I care? Because I like my beers to, when I want them to be light colored, I want them to be really light colored. So, uh, next one, uh, brewed for, my girlfriend uh, took a trip to South Africa. It was kind of a, an externship slash uh, semester abroad. Ended up being a great deal for her. She likes wheat beers, and even though this one's probably a little hoppy, you can see Real similar hot profile as my uh, as my pale ale over here, uh, except to use Yeast 1010. My opinion on Yeast 1010, I love that. As I was bottling it, I got just a little bit of banana, and I was like, "Oh wow, this is great." Um, turns out though, one, this has been sitting in the bottle for two weeks. Uh, it's lost the banana. It's calmed down or whatever, and you can't have it at all, or you can't you can't taste it at all. Um, this over here is my attempt to make a beer that does not have a ton of American hops in it. This Hefeweizen, um, and I finally got the bottled on there. All of my labels will have a bottled on date. That's super important to me. Um, the fact I forgot it on the other ones was, oh well, it is what it is. Uh, and that, the yeast isn't quite right for this. I corrected it. This is like a, just a, a draft. Right here, I actually used the uh, Dan Star yeast because I tasted a beer that had used that, and I really liked what that beer tasted like. So I figured I'd give it a shot. Used two packets, made a starter, and pitched it in. So I figure if I if I use two yeast packets and make a starter, it's got to perform nearly as good as one of the other ones. Um, so you can, if you notice here, there was an ounce of tetanang at like 30 minutes or whatever, just like the uh, Northern Brewer kit, and then um, over here. This Falconer's Flight was just one ounce in the secondary. It wasn't really a secondary. It was one ounce like two weeks in for five days, and then I bottled. So that's that. Uh, you can kind of see more of the setup here. I've got a nice bottle tree. These are awesome. If Yeah, if you don't have one, they're just, they relieve so much uh, kind of 
not struggle, but they just make the whole process a lot simpler as far as uh, sanitizing bottles. Um, 